So we're here today with Dr. Brent Smell, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the uh, research that he's done here at ISB, we're at the Great ISB in Calgary, Alberta. So, uh, Brent, why don't you tell us a little bit of yourself and uh, you know what you what you were doing before, uh, what you're kind of doing now, and uh, sure, yeah, yeah. So I started. I did a bachelor uh, um, at University of Guelph in human genetics, and then from there I transitioned to University of Ottawa with. On the inspiration of Dr. Daniel Benoit, and for that I was looking at uh, doing some musculoskeletal modeling of the ACL injuries pre and post reconstruction. And from there, I moved to Dr. Ryan Grant's lab at the University of Ottawa, and the focus there in his lab is kind of machine learning and applications, in particular wearable devices. So that's when we uh, partnered with TechScan with the MyTax and Elevate the Stockholm Fellowship, and uh, that's when the work with TechScan started. And then uh, uh, a couple months ago, I was hired by the Los Angeles Angels where I'm assistant director of performance integration. So that's where I kind of work with how how we can use wearable tech to monitor uh, player performance. And, uh, Very nice, awesome. But now, uh, can you tell us a little bit um, briefly, a little bit about the presentation that you guys are giving here today? For sure. Yeah, it was a bit of like a snapshot of the kind of work we did uh, during the postdoc, and it focused on kind of how can we make these pressure devices functional for forced uh, measurement devices and it's basically the kind of the first foray into the, in that field because you know these are pressure devices but if you want to do the inverse the, uh, dynamic kind of calculations the joint moments you need the forces so uh, we applied some machine learning so some neural networks and the, as a first step uh, it was it's pretty good it was uh, on a, as a group total you can estimate the, the force profiles compared to a, a gold standard force plate quite well and now in the future we will just kind of depend on uh, fine tuning parameters to get to um, accurate force on an individual and child basis. Yeah, the data looked really good actually. Um, so like, when you think about that, what kind of implications does that, um, kind of, that kind of work have on other uh, parts of uh, research and maybe even in the clinical environment? Yeah, the, the kind of the theme so far of this conference has been moving from a laboratory out into the, the wild. It's been deemed uh, but I think that's the, that's the kind of the future of the system. The great thing about the S-Scan system is that it's portable. It, it, can, it can measure multiple steps, whereas the force plate is just a single stance phase in a set environment. Uh, and with, if we can kind of use more of these, these portable technologies and be confident in the results, we can be more dynamic in our, our capturing abilities and kind of take us outside of the lab and capture humans in their natural environment. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. And um, so like, when you think about that research, we covered a little bit, but I mean, the next steps, like so we're using neural networks, is that something that you see that we can use right now, or is it still something that has to be integrated? Yeah, so I, I mentioned this in my talk. The great thing about the testing system is that it, it's open box, unlike other systems. Other systems, you get these metrics and that's, that's it, right? But as a researcher, you want to ask these new questions, and sometimes those predetermined metrics aren't capable of answering those questions. So having the open box source uh, of text scan allows you to apply these neural networks that can be applied very quickly. It's just a couple minutes calculations, and it's, as you say, it's Right now, it's, it's a great starting point. It depends all on your research question, what you want to ask, but I think it's a great starting point. But again, I encourage others to build off what we've done, right? Like, that, that's where the future is, just building off each other's work and standing on the shoulder of giants, right? So, um, taking their own networks and kind of customizing them to individual applications, customizing to like the shoe properties, like the cushioning, how does that affect the dampening of the ground reaction force or anything like that. So, I think it's starting to take hold, uh, but again, I encourage, encourage anyone to kind of develop off any of the previous works. Yeah. Now, uh, you mentioned that your current role is working more, um, you're not doing like the core research anymore, you're working more with, uh, I would say, uh, sports, sports research now with the, with the ages. Yeah. Um, now, is there, uh, do you see this technology, the F-Scan, for instance, uh, maybe playing a role in that area in the future, if it, if it isn't already? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, some teams are already into it. Some teams even travel with force, force pressure mats, uh, and it's huge. So some applications are in the weight room. Uh, are they squatting evenly? So kind of the uh, quality of their of their workouts, of their lifts, uh, and then that can transition into hitting. So how what, how are they generating? The, sorry, the, the interaction between their swing and the ground. Uh, that's a big point. And then 
finally like kitchen for example it's it's huge because it's it's every all the movements and most in most sports they work ground up right you have your contact the ground that's your base that's your anchor and then you move from that so again like i i just work in baseball but you know working in, in hockey skate technology it's huge is these in sport, you're moving, you're dynamic, you're not able to capture that on a single force blade. And again, just trying to emphasize that's, that's the beauty of the technology is that it's contained within the footwear, within the shoe, within the cleat, and that's that's where the future uh, Like the players in their environment too. Exactly, yeah, and you can combine it with different technologies and it plays nice, and that's that's the future again, just capturing the athlete in their, in their sporting environment and not just bringing them into the lab, strapping them up. It really affects the results, for sure. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you very much for taking Appreciate the time. It. Thank you, Marshall.